Shenandoah, Pam camping. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, that was a bear. Did you see that? It kind of makes me a little bit more anxious about in a hammock right now. Hey everybody, Syntax77 here. And uh, I'll explain what's going on in the tiny pack as we walk along here up the Stony Man trailhead. Nice and paved. I think it's just this section that's paved. Yeah. <laughs> now we get off. Okay, never mind. So it's not paved the entire way. But uh, yeah, you can kind of view this as a, uh, I almost want to call it sequel, but I think you could say companion video. You could probably watch it in any order. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we were up. We did a backpacking trip for the uh, Sarah Goes Hammock Camping video <laughs> in Shenandoah. And it uh, went great, it was a good time. But we kind of, we, we really set out to have a relaxed trip and we, we did in a lot of ways, but in a lot of other ways, we did more miles than anticipated. And ended up doing around 20-ish miles and got to camp by like seven. And uh, just in time for sunset. Yeah, yeah. And it was nice, and we we got some nice backcountry views of like uh, waterfalls and some canyon areas. But um, between not getting to camp until late and not really getting any real kind of big vistas, which in Shenandoah are mostly along Skyline Drive here, uh, we got back to the car and we said, you know what, we should come back in a couple weekends. And, uh, and really just kind of do the tourist thing during the day or the day hike thing during the day, which we're doing right now on Little Stony Man. Then, with the packs secured back in the car, which are already packed and ready to go, we'll just go back at some point, grab the packs, find a spot, go like two miles, two and a half miles in, and just set up nice and early and really have some time at camp. Just do some straight up, uh, just camping. Less miles, more camping. So that's kind of the plan for this trip. Uh, so yeah, go ahead. If you haven't already seen that video, you can kind of, all the uh, gear that we're using on this video pretty much is the same. And that other video will probably give you a better view of the park overall, uh, some views of the trails and stuff. You can do a separate video on this. On the this mini pack? <laughs> yeah. But, uh, that we have in here. Yeah, if you <laughs> want some more lunch and a spoon. Lunch and a spoon is all we're carrying right now. So if you want to see some more views of uh, more trail mileage and stuff, check that other video out. But for this one, we're gonna have some fun. Uh, since we're doing less mileage, I do have a couple extra little goodies. We got some pancake mix and a straight up fry pan, some blueberries and some eggs and all kinds of fun stuff. And uh, my allergies are killing me, by the way. Ah, so if happy you hear spring. happy spring, so if you hear a lot of sniffling and me getting out of breath easily, you can thank pollen for that. <laughs> oh look, another another seat. I wonder if it's one of the Indian pointing trees. Comfortable? It is actually. Do you want to have lunch here? Yeah. All right. We're done. Two hundred yards. Put done. The up. <laughs> nice. Trees. Turd trees. <laughs> Pretty sure that's the name. Oh, wow. Ooh, a wind. In the thirties this morning, by the way, so. Not quite so spring-like. Maybe it'll freeze and kill some of that pollen. But there's some wind chill this morning. Whew. Oh my god. 
God. Are you serious? Did you see that? That was a bear. He had the routine down, too. You can tell he's done that before. Like, I want to get out and take a picture, but I know that's the wrong oh, move. <laughs> and, he's, and he's long gone now. Oh, my God. That was so cool. That's my first bear I've seen out in the wild. Luckily, I was in my car. <laughs> <laughs> and it was on a... It was on a road. Oh my god, that's so cool! Uh, I'm geeking out hard. <laughs> Alright, well, it just happened to have the camera on. I was going to do a nice transition scene. Well, I guess I did. It just happened to be a little more uh, action-packed. Hopefully that came across. I don't know. It happened so fast, it's probably only two frames of video. But that was interesting. That was really cool. But it had that routine of jumping over that wall down. Unless it was just like, oh, I'm in the middle of what something weird do? and I'm freaking yeah. out. But it seemed like it uh, knew where it was going. Who knows? It kind of makes me a little bit more anxious about in a hammock right now. Ah, you'll be fine. Because <laughs> I just saw one. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just had some lunch at the Skyland Lodge. Just uh, didn't end up eating a wrap. It was so windy up there. Yeah. Saw that place there. and had a sandwich and a coffee and got some cold meds of various variety because I can't breathe through my nose <laughs> at all at this point in life. Uh, but that's all right. It's warming up to around 47 according to the dashboard here. So that's good. And we'll be over here in the big meadows area soon. I got my little printout. Oh, and Sarah made friends with some horses that she spotted on the side of the road. Where? Oh, the other one. It's had like half and half. Oh, wow. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. You're pretty. Hikers sitting there chatting. Oh, yeah, it's true. That was cool. She started early in February 10th, so that's about a month earlier than a lot of people. So I wasn't expecting to hear that start time, but yeah, she started early. So, anyway, we won't be uh, doing anything quite that strenuous right now. We'll, we'll be finding our parking spot and going a couple miles in and setting up camp. It's only around one in the afternoon, so good stuff. Oh no, decisions already? Is that gonna fall off? No, it's clipped. Let me tuck it in. No, I don't. I like it. We got pancakes. I like it. Alright, hobo style. I like to hear the jingle. Okay. That's for oh, our pancake uh, breakfast tomorrow. Real the utensils. Uh, yeah, water going already. Buck Hollow Trail. We don't want that. We want Hazel Mountain Trail. Uh, this is the fun. Hazel Mountain is yellow. Alright, cool. Pretty calm and relaxed trail so far. Tiny bit of uphill, but it's been mostly uh, downhill. A little bit of steep spots with some loose rocks, but nothing major. Pretty relaxed so far, which is what we're going for. About a mile in and maybe a mile, mile and a half to go. I'm sure we've all heard that term before. Yeah. Nice flowing water warming up nicely. The sun feels really good oh, compared to that bitter cold wind this morning. Uh, real nice in here. Those are some pretty flowers. Saw a lot of nice purples on the road on the way in too. In the last two weeks it's definitely uh, bloomed. It's just a shame this cold uh, front is coming through. <laughs> but it's a junction here? Which one? You said White Rocks, right? Yeah, we're supposed to turn left on it. Yep. Down this way, then. Cool. We're moving right along here. That means we're probably about a mile and a half in. Hazel River Trail is 2.3. That way, I guess. Cool. All right.
Well, from one marker to another, that didn't take long. So Cave Falls is down there. Sarah is over there. <laughs> and the list we were talking about is right there. Is right there. So dramatic. <laughs> it says find a place to camp along the trail near the Cave Falls Junction. So that's somewhere around here and we can hear the water down there. So we're just going to poke around and see what we can uh, find. I don't know. We might drop the packs and see what it looks like down there towards the, uh, the falls and the water and stuff. I don't know. We'll do some scouting. We definitely got time. It's uh, not even three o'clock. Yeah. So well, that was less. I know what that is. That's hammock time. Yeah, less than two hours of hiking. Hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right. Mm -hmm. All right. It's been a good, calm, relaxing day. Yeah. It's been nice. All right. Good. All right. Let's find some camp. Oh man, headed towards the falls. It is steep. We decided to just take our packs with us down here because uh, if we can find a spot for our hammocks uh, that we don't have to go up and down this hill to get water, that would be great. It'll be a little cooler when you're near water, but it's not the end of the world. We're prepared, but <laughs> we might be locked into our decision now because I don't think either one of us feels like going back up this <laughs> until tomorrow. All right, it's not looking too flat down here, huh? No, nope, that's really pretty. Well, looks like we might be headed back up top to set up camp after all. Ah. Doesn't look like the uh, hammock from last time. Nope, no. No, no. It does. Someone got me a non camo. Yes, you do say that my color choices are a little drab. <laughs> although I did get that red hammock, but. That's true. Other than that, camo, brown, gray. You got your colorful uh, purple and yellow quilt on the last trip. Yes. Now you have a matching hammock. I love it. A little nylon D. It's comfy. It's, uh, Dutchware nylon D hammock. So uh, the red one I have was a poly D, that's the firmest. The brown one I have is an argon, and this one's right in between the firmest and the stretchiest. So. And prettiest. And it's 11 foot instead of 10, so you should be able to get it even more. Extra wide. Extra wide, uh, <laughs> get a more diagonal lay in there. It's, uh, it's supposed to be, a lot of people think it's more comfortable. So even yeah. though you're shorter than me, you got the longer hammock to sleep in tonight, you should be comfy. Oh, and you have this, but you might not even pull this down, um, depending on the bug situation. But this is, uh, we can check that out later, but it's a summer sock. So, summer sock. yeah, instead of the winter sock that, that completely covers you. It's got mesh on one side and then um, solid material on the other. So you can either have that on the underquilt side or if the wind gets on Sarah's face tonight, she can spin it around so that this is kind of blocking her face from the wind. I am well prepared with hats, gloves, scarves. You're good to go. Quilts. Quilts. Yep. All right. Well, there you it. go. We got, at least we got the hammock up so far. I love it. Now, if I can pry you out of it, we'll set up the rest. We set up really quick. <laughs> you know, it's not the it's not the most professional setup in the world, maybe. I would say it's professional. It went up quick. It's awesome. You can see we have a little fine tuning to do. We're really just in wind block mode for the tarps. We got wind coming off of this ridge now. So really we just got wind block behind us. Our number one threat tonight is wind, not rain. So we just got them folded back. We can pull them down in front of us later, but we're not gonna worry about the tarp mode. I don't think we're gonna be hanging out any, under any rain showers. So just get down to it, get them done. Sarah's got a nice warm second, secondary clothing on. Um, I'm gonna stop running my mouth soon and get mine on. She's got her, well, I'll save that as a surprise for later. There was something that came up on the last video that Sarah was a, 
um, eh, inquiring about why I hadn't done before. So we'll show that later. It is done now. Is done now. Um, chips once again. <laughs> but this time we're doing hot queso instead of salsa. And the bugs are attacking Sarah, but hopefully it'll go away soon. And uh, yeah, we're going to go down towards the waterfall and bring the little canister stove and do some chips and salsa. Hour. Or chips and queso, because it's happy hour. Looks like a good enough backdrop for some queso. We got the mix ready over there. It's a beautiful backdrop for queso. That's true. Yeah, pretty good. All right, so it's only three ounces of water necessary. Not a whole lot. We even did a little extra just to be safe. Fire up the canister stove and uh, get this going with the uh, chips. Last drop. Yeah. Since you have so many drops on you. Uh, yeah, it's drying slowly. We may have, um, I swear it didn't say it on there, right? I don't know. I should have went with my gut. Every time we get these meals, it has an outer bag that it's in, an inner bag the ingredients are in. That you, outer bag that you can tell is a heat resistant cooking bag. And you pour the stuff in there and then you add the boiling water. I was like, I don't know, it doesn't seem right. We put boiling water in the ingredient bag, which is over there. See, just a regular plastic bag. And um, right when we got to the point where it was like kind of inflating with hotness, <laughs> and we were like, oh, no, 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 this isn't right. We should pour it in that other bag. That's definitely the cook bag. And then it popped. Poof. And it popped all over me and my pants. So those will be getting hung up in the bear bag. I got a spare pair of shorts up there I'll sleep in, thinking ahead. And uh, anyway, then we like panicked and added a little bit of water and it might be a little bit. I actually think the consistency looks great. So, what are you thinking? Kind of keep it. Ah, keep it warm? Keep it warm. Put it in this little, so oh my God, it's perfect. And all that, that's a really expensive bowl we got from EMS. <laughs> um, it just happens to look like a Chinese wonton soup mm -hmm. carry out thing. It only weighs about I don't know. Not, 10, even. not even 10 grams. High tech stuff. All right, let's have some chips. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here, let's give them one. There you go. Not bad, right? <laughs> um, is that little chunks of cheese in there? It, it, it had to have melted uh -huh. all the way, so, it, but it still has like consistency. Mm. It's so good. Spicy, too. Salty goodness. Yeah. It did already cool down, but it's chilly out here. Gotta like cozy it all the way. Yeah. Fast. It's chilly out here. But if it was summertime, it'd be good. Well, I mean, it's good, but I mean, the temperature would be fine. It's still good uh, even after it's not piping hot, though. It's still tasty. Absolutely. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> you say you uh, you make fun of my camouflage that I always get, but <laughs> you, you looked pretty camouflaged with the purple uh, quilt and the purple hammock. Dude, my setup's like the complete opposite of yours. I have lights going on. You do. You have lights. You're like, here I am. I have bright, not, well, the yellow is a primary color. Bright primary colors. Flash the yellow. Yeah, that's a shocking contrast right there. Your lights are looking good. The Dutchware lights that you gave me crap about for how could you have not bought those if you knew they existed? Now we got them. Best seven dollars and fifty cents I've ever spent. Yep. Uh, your tarp looks like we could give it a little love. We will. It's a little slack, but it was happy hour. We needed to go. Uh, yeah, happy hour. We were running late to the party down at the waterfall, so this setup went up uh, quick. But looking good we got kind of the uh, a little wider than the L configuration that we had before but basically three trees 
like last time where we're both on the center one which could be a little bigger it's safe but we can feel each other moving a little bit but that's all right uh, so don't toss and turn too much tonight I'm back in mine I got for my birthday from Sarah dream hammock Darien ACU camo we're doing good I gotta get you a ridgeline organizer back I might take it off my old Hennessy and put it on yours and then you can have that because that doesn't really get that much use nowadays compared to these things they're just so simple and effective that purple hammock there well, Sarah shut your ears because I don't want you to feel like you're not super special because you're worth a million dollars darling but I think that was $33 for the actual uh, hammock body and of course you got to add your own suspension and stuff but um but the price of love it is priceless and I already had the suspension laying around and honestly for $15, $20 those cinch buckles are five bucks the continuous loops the gray things there they're like 250 and then you get your straps for 10 or 15 bucks so you there's really uh, not a high cost of entry to get experimenting with some pretty high quality hammock setups gotta get that tarp off you though I feel like it's a little close to you oh I don't <laughs> I'm just trying to get swinging yeah had a nice happy hour and now the sun's going down and we'll probably hang out maybe have a, another glass of wine and at some point I'll gather up the motivation to make some chili which is the same chili that I had on my Mount Washington trip so if uh, if you've seen that video you may be aware of how much I like that if not check it out I may or may not be a fan of the uh, Texas State Fair chili from Packet Gourmet but anyway yeah, we're just hanging. It's good. You can see, uh, since we were doing low mileage, another thing I brought that hasn't been out for a long time, that giant old school uh, tarp. It's in camo, but it's basically just one of those blue tarps you buy to throw over your back of your pickup. Probably, you know, five, ten bucks. I might have paid a little more since it was camo, but Flash not... Oriental huh? Oriental rug. It's your oriental rug? <laughs> basically. Same idea. You know, it's a little less shocking to the environment than blue. <laughs> Although, I probably should have brought a blue tarp because you do like the high, the high contrast colors. That's true. That's true. But, yeah, that's your little... And what's your rule for the Oriental rug? Shoes off. Shoes off when you're on the Oriental rug. You want to know why? Why? Oh. Because I got my moccasins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Packed those in, did you? Yeah, man. All right. All right. <laughs> you were cold. You're doing good. Weekend. So you got, you got your, I almost called them trail slippers, but you know that <laughs> Mike has that name locked down. He actually trademarked it. This is true. Probably I, rented the website. I am not the original trail slippers. Right. I am the moccasin trailer. <laughs> yeah. Moccasin trailer. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to come up with something. Somebody else will, I'm sure. Moccasin feet. Moccasin feet. Uh, walks warm. with slippers, so. They are warm. They are. So. That allows me to sit Indian style in my hammock. And that you do love to do. Although you said you're getting used to not having the integrated bug net where you can kind of lean back against it. Yeah. And then you got used to that with this one where yeah. like the bug net is sewn into it on this dream hammock. It's just something to get used to. But you know what else? Now that I'm going back into this one, I've gotten spoiled. See how she can access to kind of grab and adjust the underquilt at any time. Uh, I usually I got kind of used to that reassurance whereas now I can only grab the one side it's not the end of the world it's just little things to get used to little pluses and minuses of the different hammock setups um, yeah, but anyway yeah that's that man it's getting dark kind of rapidly out here huh thank God we got our we have our lights and they do blink if the party's really going oh. brown Chili time? Mmm. Oh, good. Yeah, it's not bad, right? That is really good. Yeah. Yeah, this would be my first time trying it since I had it when I was, like, super hungry mm. after doing Mount Washington. No, it is really good. So I didn't know how much was tainted by just my sheer hunger and happiness in the middle of the snow. No. But it's pretty good, right? Really okay. Good. I thought I was... Wow. I thought that was accurate. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. It's got the, uh, comes with cheese, dehydrated cheese and like crushed up uh, Fritos. 
to top it with at the very end, a thing of Texas Pete hot sauce to pump it up with if you want, which we did. And then of course, just a chili. I mean, I already showed you all that in the other video, but <laughs> now we get Sarah's take on it, you know. Sorry. <laughs> hey, no, don't be. It's good stuff, show it twice. <laughs> Lights are going good, man. Uh, Sarah was talking about they put out some major light. They run on three um, double A's, so you know a little bit of weight there. Although I might pick up some rechargeables because I have a feeling these are coming on like every trip now. It's worth the weight. You get that weight down so you can bring the fun stuff, right? Uh, yeah, they're putting out some light because down at the end is my little lantern that's actually a USB charger that I've shown before. It puts out a nice. It's a very dim light. It lasts for like three days, but I mean. It's usually, it's plenty, but the uh, <laughs> the party lights are putting it to shame. They do it nice. They're throwing out a lot of light. Yeah, they really do. Because if it wasn't for them, it would be pretty... It'd be pretty dark around pretty here. Pitch, especially because my headlamp just went. Yeah. <laughs> that's your little nano. It's the, it's the P-Tech... I would be a little freaked out right now if I didn't have my party lights. P-Tech Bite. You've had it since your first trip in 2011, mm -hmm. but it just got stuck on high. And then we took the batteries out and put and put them back in, and now it's not working. So we'll I try think, new batteries and see. Yeah, we'll try new batteries, but I think it might have blown up. I like that thing though. It's only twenty bucks or fifteen. No, twenty. We got another one for fifteen, but it was a little not quite as nice. Huh, we'll see. Anyway, you can always use mine, and you got your party lights. So I got my flashlight. Oh yeah, and then you got your. You got your titanium, uh, boy we love titanium around here. <laughs> there it is, one, one AAA thing is ridiculously light. It's by uh, Through Night. They actually uh, sent me some flashlights out to check out and that was one of them. And uh, she keeps that on her keychain all the time. But uh, it's, she brings it on her little trips too. It doesn't really weigh anything, but it's a nice little backup light. So when Sarah wants to survey the land, she can do so. It puts out a lot of light on that third setting. Uh, it goes up to like, I want to say 120 or 180, something ridiculous. It, it kills it kills the AAA within uh, within like 10 or 15 minutes, but if you need some emergency light, it, it kicks it. For our post-dinner night hike though, you'll be bringing out the even heavier artillery, the Thor Fire USB uh, rechargeable light. It's an 18650 light, but it's it has a USB port on it. Does it? Yeah, you yeah. can recharge it via USB. Uh, computer, phone, oh, that's really or cool. right in your car. Where is that? Um, it goes over the thumb cap. I have the, um, there's oh. a little adapter that goes over that. You can still use the button, but I didn't want to lose it. Gotcha. Which I'll get into in the review. But yeah, it's crazy. And then it has a focusable beam. Like, look how big that circle is. And then it goes to like a diamond shape. Because really, that's just the shape of the little LED. It's square. So, all the way zoomed in. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing. It's just having fun in the woods, walking around, and uh, spotlighting. All right, well. <laughs> Here we go. Night hike. Because we didn't walk enough today. Hey. We're feeling the, the need. Yeah, I know. We, we're feeling the need for some speed. Really, where are you going? I don't know where you're going. <laughs> so we're so disoriented. Well, good thing we can spot our camp from here. <laughs> Your ridge line over there. I love it. I feel like this is a dead hike. Well, with that light, <laughs> it's insane, right? Forget how many loons it goes up to, but I feel like it's substantial. You hear it? That wind? Yeah. And it's currently 46 degrees. I believe it was the last time I checked, like 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Well, hopefully it won't be around until around 2 a.m. that it hits that 30 degrees. It should be stuck as a bug in a rug. Yeah, we'll be all tucked in by then. Boom. Boom.
So, morning of day two begins. Got up around 7.30. Got into the 30s last night as expected. Uh, so, I basically just kept an eye on my uh, thermometer hanging from my ridge line. Said, I'm not getting out of this. <laughs> not getting out of this thing until it warms up. It got up to about 51 degrees. Pretty hard swing there. Uh, so I said, all right, I think I can get out of bed now. So we're just going to hobble down the trail here with a couple of dirty water bags. I showed you that gravity set up on the uh, previous Shenandoah trip. But uh, just going to fill up two two-liter bags so I don't have to make this trek too uh, often. And then we're going to have some pancakes. we got some dehydrated blueberries. got some dehydrated uh, egg meal. And my new uh, lightweight skillet. See if we can't make a mess. All right, huffed and puffed with the water back to camp. Sarah's still snuggling in there, but she's somewhat awake. You can see here, uh, I'll show you before I open it up so she can sit up, but we kind of modified her Hennessy uh, hex tarp into like a half, half of it into like a diamond shape last night for her. Uh, she had plenty of coverage, but that way blocked a little bit of wind she could still see out to me we could talk she could see the stars and whatnot but if we really needed to batten down the hatches to for wind or rain or whatever would have been pretty easy because all we did was take that same red extender line if you can even see it there connected to the tree and just a mitten hook kind of like a poor man's dutch hook version of that just wrap that around to a knot with an s beaner that's clipped to where normally the tent spike would go, but we just folded folded it back, clipped to the S-beaner. If uh, we got to batten down the hatches, we just disengage it real quick. Probably can't do it with one hand. Oh, yes I can. And then we can stake it down real quick. Or in my case, I'm gonna take all these stakes up so she can see the world in its full glory and have her breakfast smoothie. Little, uh, Packet Gourmet Tropic Fusion. I think it's a pineapple, coconut, whey protein, and yogurt. Get the day started. We'll split that. Just a little morning snack so we're not too hungry before I start trying to cook stuff. The coffee's going over there. We got the cook set up here for our pancake and egg breakfast. Uh, coffee's just in our regular cups we've been using for everything. Uh, I got my little 750 ml pot for heating water. But a new addition, this MSR... Uh, flex skillet uh, It's a nine inch skillet Seven ounces list, but I actually weighed it and it was only six and a half ounces Which is pretty good because this is not my stuff over there is titanium And I'm sure you can find a titanium skillet out there But from what I've read and I haven't tried to make a meal this elaborate in the backcountry So we'll find out but uh, I don't know this from personal experience, but from what I've read up on um, titanium not so great as a even conductor of heat even heat distribution not so good with titanium so this is actually aluminum but it's still ringing in at uh, six and a half ounces um, and it's got the handle that clicks out and then locks so that's pretty cool we'll see how that performs uh, by MSR uh, then we got the same little takeout container bowl that we had our uh, cheese dip in it looks like I have to maybe uh, wipe that out with one of these paper towels <laughs> a little bit but we'll mix up in that our dehydrated organic maple syrup powder now this is probably way more than I need but I haven't messed with it before so I brought the whole two ounce package but it's just two parts syrup to one part water um, so a couple tablespoons of the mix and a tablespoon of water we'll see what happens we'll get some syrup going this is just something I found in my house it's surprisingly light it's only two ounces probably something from the dollar store or something but the one I thought I was going to bring was 
way heavier. So look around your house, weigh some stuff, you'd be surprised what you find. <laughs> and it matches, it does match your top quilt on the inside. I got some dehydrated blueberries there. Again, probably more than I need, but we'll just play with those. A little bit of butter right there. And then the pancake mix, just a uh, bit quick, shake and pour. And we're just gonna dump some water, shake it up, and then we can sprinkle blueberries in it or pick the M&Ms out of our trail mix. Or I, said gummy bears. I wanna put gummy bears in mine. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. And then uh, I will also see how this works. I've never used this for more than boiling water. It's my little $5 uh, canister stove, upright canister stove setup. So we'll see how that works on there with the skillet. Try to make some breakfast. Oh, and we have eggs too. Didn't even mention uh, Migos de Sol, which is like a hey, chipotle seasoned eggs with veggies, cheddar jack cheese, corn tortilla bits. You can see that back there from my friends at Packet Gourmet. So between them and Betty Crocker and uh, some good old fashioned butter. Yeah, shake and bake, or shake and pour, I'm sorry. Shake and bake, chicken, man. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> chicken pancakes. Chicken and waffles. There you go. Next time. You just have to find bacon. Hey, we'll step our game up, we'll bring bacon next time. We'll really get those bears coming. Oh, man. Almost forgot to mention too, speaking of Chinese takeout, or no. Japanese takeout. Uh, yeah, there's our high-tech bowls slash plates, or plate bowl. They're uh, a little under, I think they're like an ounce a piece uh, for the top and the bottom. So you have kind of a plate bowl action there, and lid can be used as a plate. But I was thinking as I cook the pancakes too, with the lid on there, I can put the lid on there, and then I can even slide it in that little re um, that reheating thing that we have. Um, from Packet Gourmet just to kind of keep the stuff warm. Sarah's making the syrup. She already got the blueberries rehydrated. Do they need more water? They look no, they look good. They're just kind of soaking up everything. They say you can eat them dry as a snack too. We might have to add a little, we'll see how that looks after it sits and soaks it up. We got it about as low as I possibly can. Flapjack. Sprinkle some blueberries in there. Yum. I like our pans on a little bit of an angle. <laughs> Good stuff. I don't know if we overdid the bottom or not, Time but the flip. first. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. It's a little unevenly cooked, but it is uh, better than the same old. Mountain House meal. Smells delicious. Because <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> it's real food. <laughs> oh my god. I just wish that spatula made a little smiley face on our pancakes. <laughs> yeah. All right, time to put gummy bears in mine. Although, well, there we go. It appears to be uh, snowing. <laughs> so, I might have to pull the tarps out. And it appears to be picking up speed. So that's interesting. So cool. glad it's snowing right now. We'll finish cooking these and then we'll uh, figure things out. Put the tarp down, but happy spring. Yeah. As it snows. I don't we got know the best can... luck with weather in the business. You can see that. I just use it all up. Yeah, finish it. So the Bizquick container there pretty much made four big, four decent sized pancakes. That's a decent, si a decent amount. Yeah. And we're thinking we might not even get to eggs because these pancakes are probably going to hit the spot pretty good. And my mix is totally better than yours. Oh yeah? Uh -huh. What do you got? Blueberry, peanut butter, chocolate chip. All right. Taken out of trail mix. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. And then you have some blueberries. So you just picked out everything you liked from the trail mix. Uh-huh. And uh, my gummy bears are like molten lava. <laughs> I think if you ate it right away, it, you would scar yourself for life. <laughs> There's like pockets bears. of... <laughs> like burnout gummies. Yeah. That's a massive pancake. Whoops. All right. Need you need more syrup? Well, at least we batten down the hatches pretty quickly. Because it's full on like hail right now. <sighs> I guess I better get in there. 
our breakfast nook. Yeah, let's eat in the breakfast nook. Party lights going underneath. Sweet. Some pancakes. Some iced coffee. <laughs> yeah, well, it is iced now. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah. It sounds put it, awesome, though. Put it outside, get some hail in it, keep it cold. <laughs> True. True. All right, you got him out of the, uh, got him out of the cooker. The, the heating bag there, which we're using to keep them hot. It looks like they're still warm. Mm -hmm. Looking good. You can see there's a little bit of a, uh, from my stove, it doesn't spread the flame super evenly. But the pan itself did a great job, considering how light it is. Here's <laughs> your gummy. Yeah. <laughs> Pockets of gooiness. And then blueberry. Nice. Pour a little butter and syrup on there. Yeah. Syrup rehydrated nicely, about 12 to 15 minutes with cool water. We could have done them with warm in five, but. Who likes to think that much in the morning? Yeah, and we ended up taking, <laughs> ended up taking us a little while to cook them and set up the tarps apparently anyway. Good to the last drop. Those went quick. Now I'm tired. Nice thing about a single overnighter in these containers. Easy cleanup. Deal with that at home. Look at the pack messy. Are you tired again? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should probably do post pancake nap. Mm -hmm. A little siesta, I think is what they call it. Yeah. Swigging? a good little nap. <laughs> Sun's starting to come out now. Slowly getting there. It's warming up a bit. And I think the rain has at least slowed down or pretty much ceased. Uh, so I think we will pack up and then maybe go say hi to the waterfall one more time. Got to find a cave. We totally forgot about it. It's supposed to be a cave down there somewhere. So we'll, uh, we'll find that. Here's where we didn't come down yesterday. We were over there where we had our chips and uh, queso. But just a little bit further, here is the uh, cave they must have been referring to. Looks like somebody had a nice unregulated fire in it. Uh, yeah. Oh, it does go back there? Oh man, all right, well, let me get the flashlight out. I don't wanna go in through. Here you gonna have a party back there? Alright. Oh my gosh, this is weird. Oh, it goes up. Wow. That's neat. It's so drippy in here. Wow. It's the other side of the waterfall. Finally got all packed up, back on the trail. Heading out the same way we came in. So, it'll be uphill this time instead of downhill mostly, but nothing too brutal, not like last time, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just, just enough to work up an appetite. Ooh. Or work off the pancakes. Which I, I one caveat, sour gummy bears, not just any gummy bears in it. I realized that upon the first bite. Oh, wow. These are like Sour Patch gummy bears. So this is your acorn find, Sarah? I guess it's an acorn, but it's really cool. So it popped open? Split, yeah. 
and then he said it looks like it went right into the ground. Yeah. And started growing a tree. Up. Same with these little two twinsies. Good eye. Thanks. Pretty cool. It is cool. I feel like usually you don't see it because it's all covered by the... Yeah. Leaves. Like over here you see a few of the babies popping up, but you don't get to see the cool acorn. Yeah. Look at this one. This one's a big guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what the squirrels are up. Squirrels. Is the road like right up here? I can hear it. Actually, I think I just saw a reflection. Nah, no, I might lose my mind, but I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> We've just started to feel drops of rain, too. Oh, man. All that uphill made me hungry. Uh -huh. You know what that means. For the pickle time? Yeah, Sarah's got a new thing. You got to start your own channel or get you <laughs> some stickers or something. Because after the last trip, we stopped at a place in Virginia on the way home and got uh, some burgers, of course. But Sarah opened up. She was like, I'm getting fried pickles. And believe me, she's, she appreciates good food, but she's not the type to just sit around eating fried pickles most of the time. But it was just in ranch. But it came with ranch. So she got her fried pickles, and uh, now she's all about fried pickles after hikes. Yep. With the burger. With the burger, of course. And look at that, here we are. More cars in the parking lot again. Yep, always more on the return. So we went out on Friday, it's Saturday now. But there we are. We're back. We're back. We did it again. Did it. Oh. Yeah, high five. Good deal. So once again, mission complete. Hopefully uh, you got a little something out of this. You can see that you can uh, go out with your loved one or friend, do a couple miles, and have a great time. Not that I don't like pounded miles too, but sometimes uh, it's fun to do a short trip. So we'll just get these packs off and then... Uh, Head on out, do a little scouting, see what we can find to eat. So, appreciate you coming along and joining us. Until next time, I'm Syntax77, and right now, it's cheeseburger time. I'm glad we spotted that. I was like, what are we looking at? I want it to like come down, I can't see it through there. Where does he think he's going? That's pretty high up. Yeah.